Well, hi folks, here we are again, another year, early February, and my seed potatoes have turned up again. Far earlier than I'd have liked, but you can only go by what you know when they send them. Because I'm not going to plant these out in my garden until maybe early April for the first earlies and mid April for the main crops. So I've got to do something with them. Because if I was just to leave them in the bags like they are, in the house, in a cupboard or something, then what would happen in the next eight weeks or so is this. These are just some old potatoes stored over from last year. Is they would produce long, useless, white, spindly shoots like that because they'd be searching for the dark, for the light, and there wouldn't be any light. So they just produce these horrible white shoots that are no use, which are easy to knock off and damage, and they just don't, they don't do them any good at all. So what we've got to do, the main reason we actually chip potatoes is just to preserve them before planting. Okay, they do grow away a little bit quicker with a, when they've got a sprout on about half an inch. But like I said, the main reason is just to keep them in a decent condition until you actually get to plant them. Because if you just left them in a cupboard, in the dark, in relative warmth, then they would uh, suffer. So what we do is, to chip them, let me just take the bag out, what are these? These are my famous Sarpo mirrors. Oh, I've got to drop them all over the place. So what you're looking for on the potato is, there's sort of two ends. There's one end there, and there's sometimes a little stalk coming out of it. That's where it's been attached to the plant before. And then there's the other end called the rose end, and it's got little eyes in it. Little sort of shallow eyes. And you want to put that that way up, eyes upwards, in either a, an egg box, or what I tend to use is these, these seed trays, because they tend to fit really well. Just do that with all of them. Find the end with the eyes, with the most eyes, and just plonk them upwards like so and if you find any soft ones or squash you know like squidgy ones I'll just I would discard them because they're not going to do any good and they might transfer disease about so it couldn't be easier just have a look for the end that's got the where it was attached to the plant and that's got the eyes in and just place them upright in either an egg box seed tray or like I say these are ideal these are these seed growing modules so I'll just do this first lot. And then what you would do with these is place them somewhere cold but frost free and bright. What you don't want is somewhere really warm because that will make them sprout too quickly. So you want somewhere quite cool, like a cool greenhouse. But if it is going to be frosty then bring them in, indoors that, for that night. Because obviously they're susceptible, they're very soft to potatoes. And if they get frosted then they will they will die off the, 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 the new shoots. So, like I said, I'm putting mine in, I've got like a lean-to with a, a glass glass roof, which is really cold. It does get to frost sometimes when it's really cold, so I'll just bring them into the house for that for that evening and put them in there. Because you want them to go slow, you want the sprouts to grow slow, you don't want to put them in a, like inside on your bedroom window or something where it's going to be warm, and then they will just, they will grow too quickly. So really, that's about it. Um, like I say, as soon as you get your potatoes, if you're getting them in advance of when you're going to plant them, chip them, keep them somewhere cool and do this. If you're only going to plant your potatoes maybe two weeks after you get your seed potatoes, then fine, you don't really need to chip them. But if you go into a, into a garden centre like the middle of March, you'll see the bags because they've, they've just been hung up on the shelves in the relative warmth and you can see and they've got sprouts coming out all over. Don't buy those, they're, they're not worth it, they're absolutely useless. So I'd say get your seed potatoes quite early when they're in good condition and then chip them in a nice frost free bright cool place. And don't forget to put your label in so you know which potatoes are what. I'll just show you which ones I'm growing. For my first early is I'm growing Charlotte which are a French salad potato, I love those. I'm going really basic this year, I'm only growing four varieties. I've got the old favourite King Edward for my main crop for bakers and chips and stuff, for my mashes and roast and baked potatoes I've got Kestrel which I also grow for show but they're a fantastic tasting potato and as a backup if we do get a lot of blight then the old favourite for me is Sarpo Mira not quite as good as King Edward but they're absolutely bulletproof when it comes to uh, blight they'll stand through any blight and no matter how bad the season is you will get a big crop of potatoes so that's it again folks early February and we're starting all again so I'll get on and just finish the rest of these off but basically that's all I do plonk them in an egg box with the eyes upwards keep them somewhere frost free but cool and bright 
And then once the sprouts are about, maybe they probably get to about half an inch, three quarters of an inch. And then when you come to plant them, from, depending on where you are in the country, late March, April to mid April like me, plant them out and they get a little bit of a head start, but they'll be in decent condition rather than planting rubbish like this if you just leave them and forget about them. So that's about it folks, see you later.